Hello, I'm Sophronia Scott, director of the Alma College MFA in Creative Writing for the 21st Century, and this is another Faculty Friday. And um, I'm already smiling because I'm seeing mm. Donald Quist smiling, and <laughs> Donald Quist is joining me today. He's one of the amazing faculty members that we have on. With we have waiting for you in the Alma College program. And we're going to talk a bit about writing today, but first let me tell you more about Donald Quist. He is author of the Link Story Collection, Four Other Ghosts, and the essay collection, Harbors, which uh, was a forward Indies bronze winner and an International Book Awards finalist. His writing has appeared in Agni, Poets and Writers, North American Review, Michigan Quarterly Review, the Rumpus, and has also been notable in Best American Essays 2018. He's also creator of a really great online nonfiction series called Past 10. You should look it up. Uh, he has also received fellowships from Sundress Academy for the Arts and Cambilio Fiction. He earned his MFA in writing from the Vermont College of Fine Arts, and he is currently a Gus T. Rigel Fellow in the English PhD program at the University of Missouri. So thank you for being here with me today, Donald. It's great to be here. Thanks for having me. So, um, you know, we're talking about writing and I'm wondering, you know, I've been teaching for a while, you've been teaching for a long time. I'm wondering, is there something, uh, I don't think it would be necessarily a writing tip, maybe it's advice or, or just a teaching idea that you find that you share often with your students. Okay. Um, day one of any workshop or any writing class that I have, um, I like to tell my students, writing is not a solitary activity. So I do that on day one, I try to assuage that, that whole idea that like, you're just writing alone in this little vacuum by yourself and you're living like this hermetic life. <laughs> um, that to me is a fallacy. I think that's, that's not true. Every time you write, every time you write with the intention of sharing it with someone else, the world, you are joining a conversation. You are speaking to voices that influenced you. You are speaking to future voices who you will influence. You are not writing in a vacuum. You are a part of a community. Um, the act of writing is a form of community. It's engaging with others. Um, it is a practice um, and practices often can't be done alone um, and writing is one of those. So I love to remind my students, um, you are part of this larger discussion, um, whether fiction, poetry, uh, nonfiction, whether it's cross genre, um, you are you are doing something that will help establish and broaden a community. Um, and so that is like one of my biggest pieces of advice because oftentimes I, I feel or I see, especially people newer to writing, they kind of feel like they need to struggle through it alone. Um, they're reluctant to to share. And I, and I can get that. It can be scary to, to produce something that's so much a part of yourself and give it to the world like here. <laughs> that can be, <laughs> that takes a level of vulnerability and a level of courage. Um, but that's what it takes to build community. It takes vulnerability, it takes courage. And that's what you're doing. You're not alone when you're writing. You, you're with others. You know, I think I like that you brought it back to the, the, the conversation, not just the big overall writing mm -hmm. conversation, but just in talking about the work, which is mm -hmm. what will happen and what can happen in the MFA program. Mm -hmm. Because I think we, we get so caught up in that idea of not wanting to share, like, oh, I can't talk about it yet. And, <laughs> yeah. and I understand that. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, in certain stages, I, I can be like that too. But you also miss out if you don't say, well, you know, this is what I'm working on. And actually just today, um, I was on the phone with my uh, dear friend, the novelist, Brina Clark, and we were 
you know, having a talk about, you know, what we're seeing in fiction right now. And, and I told her, you know, that I'm working on a, um, a, another historical novel right now. And we started talking about what does it mean to, to write about history? And, and, and she, oh, said, she just said, you know, kind of off the cuff, you know, who, who says that it had to happen that way? Who says that it did? It. Suddenly I was like, oh, <laughs> who says? Yeah. Who says, I'm trying to be so accurate in this, but what if I'm putting this and saying, what if it happened this way? And mm -hmm. that totally has opened up my mind to thinking about the narrative of, of my novel. Yeah. And that would have never happened if I, exactly. I, thought, you know, felt that I couldn't tell her that I'm working on a new book right now. Exactly. Um, if you pick up any book by me and you flip to the acknowledgements in the back, you'll see it's pretty long. And that's because it was a conversation. These stories that I produced were built out of conversations. There are ideas that I just would not have arrived to without talking through them first in my writing process uh, with friends, uh, many of whom came out of my own MFA program. Um, without those discussions, without sharing or being open to sharing, you really can miss out on opportunities to make your work even stronger, to, to make it even better. And so, yeah, let's push away the idea that we're all just huddled over laptops in dark, quiet rooms. Let's, let's talk through the work. Um, let's share. And I think we'll be all better for it. Yes. And, and um, as you pointed out earlier, and I will highlight this um, again in case, um, it was missed that that you and I um, went to the same MFA program. Yeah, that's right. And yeah. Obviously, we are still in community, and you were one mm -hmm. of the first people <laughs> who I told when we were planning this MFA. Mm -hmm. um, and and but this is the type of con connection that we're talking about here because yeah. I I knew immediately that that you know I wanted you to teach in this program because I I already know you're teaching. I've seen you lecture. I've seen you. I I know. <laughs> and it's been yeah. years you know we, we've been working on this it's been years since we graduated I can't believe it. Right. <laughs> right yeah and and but we are still involved in each other's lives and we know our work right yes yeah. so we are inviting students into a likewise community where they can get to know each other and and grow and then be a part of what grows from from that effort absolutely absolutely I am so glad to have you as a member of my community thank you. Yeah. and my family. So thank you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope, uh, I hope our listeners have enjoyed being a part of, of this connection and mm -hmm. we invite you to join and be an even bigger part of it. So I'm Sophronia Scott, he's Donald Quist, and we are part of the Alma College MFA in Creative Writing. To learn more about our program, just check out our website, alma.edu slash MFA. And we look forward to seeing you on campus very soon. Bye-bye.